Okay, good afternoon class. So today we're looking at equations and inequalities. We're looking at the examples for exercise 2.4. Now exercise 2.4 is on page 28. The exercise is on page 28. And the examples? So this example is on page 27. Okay, so here we are told to the right the trinomial of 2x squared plus 8x minus 6 in the form of a into x plus p all squared plus q. People, what's the difference with this form, a into uh, this 2x squared plus 8x minus 6? What's the difference from this sum to the previous exercise? Coefficient. There's a coefficient. And the coefficient of 2. So, however, we always worked with a coefficient of 1. We look at the previous exercises, you'll see there is a coefficient of 1. Yeah, number 2 was a coefficient of 1, there was a coefficient of 1. Same story there, coefficient was 1, 1, 1. So here we've got the coefficient other than 1. So what we do is, we get it in the form we are familiar with. We get it with a 1 front. Okay. Okay, so in other words, sun didn't, didn't move much. So what we do is we take up two as a common factor. So let's take two out. What are we left with? X squared plus 4x minus 3. Okay. Now you see inside the bracket what you notice? So hang on. I'm familiar with this. Not so. So you get 2 into x squared plus 4x plus a number minus the same number minus 3. And what's this number in this case? It's going to be b times half and it must be squared. What's the b value here? 4. For those of you who are confused, what, what is b? Remember the standard form of quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. So that is where that B comes from. No? So it's B, which is 4. What's 4 times half? 2. And 2 squared is? 4. Okay. Zara Ungre, can you please report to Mr. Engel's classroom? Zara Ungre. So what is this, people? Mr. Engel's classroom. Perfect squared trinomial. Okay. So it's 2 into. This would give us X. Plus 2 squared. What's minus 4 minus 3? Minus 7. So what do we do now? We multiply this here. Okay. Because you see there's no outer bracket here. You all see that? So what do we do? We multiply that in. It's going to be 2 into x plus 2 squared minus 4. Is there any confusion there? Any confusion? All right. Can move on? Example 2. Example 2 is on page? 27. Okay. And this is for exercise 2.4. So I wrote 2.8. Okay. People, the question 2 says, write the trinomial 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 in the form of a into x plus p all squared plus q. Right. So again, what do we have to do first? We must get the coefficient of 1 in front of x squared. Not so. So what must I take out as a common factor? 2. Although 2 is not common throw out. I'm going to take 2 out as a common factor. Why? Because I want the 1 in front of x squared. You guys understand? Yes. 
So if I take you out, what I will be, what will I be left with? X squared plus five over two x minus three over two. Remember when I multiply this out, two times x squared, two x squared. Two times five over two x, five x. Two times negative three over two, negative three. You see that, people? You say okay. That is now what we used to working with. Not so. They get x squared plus five over two x plus a number. Minus the same number, minus 3 over 2. What is the number in this case? It must be b times a half, and it must be squared. What's the b value? 5 over 2. So that's 5 over 2 times a half. What's 5 over 2 times a half? 5 over 4. And if I square that, what do I get? 25 over. So this again is what was? Perfect square time. Not so. So what do I say now? Got two open brackets. Open another bracket for the perfect square triangle, which is x plus 5 over 4 square. So now we saw that out is going to be 20, 28, so it's going to be negative uh, 49 over 16. That could be wrong. Let's check. It's negative 25 over 16 minus 3 over 2. Negative 49 over 16. Okay, you guys understand? All right. Negative 49 over 16. So what do I do now? Multiply, get rid of the bracket, not so. If I multiply this in, what do I get? 2 into x plus 5 over 4 squared minus 49 over. Remember, I'm multiplying that negative 49 over 16 also by 2. I get negative 49 over 8. Okay. Is there any questions? No questions. Okay, last one. Which is on page 28 probably, no? Example 3 is on page 28. What do you notice here now? There's a negative in front. Okay. So you must write the triangle we have negative 3x squared plus 27x minus 7 in that form. So where do I start? Take out negative 3 as a common factor. What am I left with? x squared minus 2 over 3x yes plus 7 over you all understand, no? because I, negative 3 times x squared is negative 3 x squared. Negative 3 times negative 2 over 3 x is going to be 2. Negative 3 times 7 over 3 is negative 7. Okay. Now what? Now we look at a number that must be added to complete the square root. This plus the number minus the same number plus 7 over 3. What's the number in this case? It must be b times a half, and it must be? What is b in this case? 2 over 3 times a half. So this cancels not so? This gives an answer of 1 over 3 squared, or 1 over 9. You all agree with that? So this is going to be 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9. So what does that give us now? Perfect. Square trinomial. So it's going to be negative 3 into the bracket x. Let's always take the sign of this bundle term. Remember that will always be positive. So it will be minus 1 over 3 squared. That's going to give you times 3 is 21 is 20 over 3. The positive, no? 
But let's say we didn't know that. Is negative 1 over 9 plus 7 over 3. 20 over 9. Can you see that? So what we do now? We multiply that in. So it's going to be negative 3 into x minus the third squared minus 20 over Alright, you guys understand? Is there any confusion? Right, your homework is exercise 2.4. On page 28, you're going to give me the odd numbers for tomorrow. Okay? You want to enjoy the Sunday day? Good afternoon, class?